it's great to be here in Seville in Spain uh, recording with the great uh, Royal Seville Symphony Orchestra and maestro Noam Sur this new project called Alchemy and I couldn't have asked for nicer partners for a more cooperative orchestra and for, or more for, for a more interesting project We had uh, the luck to collaborate for this uh, CD with the Royal Civil Symphonic Orchestra. It has been a dream being back uh, here in Seville, as I used to be a member of the orchestra around uh, over a decade ago. Para nosotros es un orgullo, absolutamente un orgullo, contar con Fabio Brun en esta grabación que acaba de terminar. Fabio estuvo con nosotros hace muchos años. Él estuvo como trompeta solista durante dos temporadas en nuestra orquesta. Tocamos en quinteto de metal junto y a, y a raíz de eso sacamos una gran amistad. Y es reencontrarse con un amigo que hacía ya tiempo que no veíamos. Y este proyecto me ha encantado que lo quisiera hacer con nosotros. Porque creo que es muy importante que se hagan grabaciones con las orquestas sinfónicas. I had a lot of fun uh, recording this project here. We've had a wonderful time, a very dense time, a very intense time in this week that we recorded. After many conversations and many uh, ideas about different names for this project, uh, the name Alchemy came to me and Maestro Noam as the perfect name for this project. It seemed like every time we touched on something, even though it seemed like it's a, a base metal, it turned out to be another piece of gold information that we could build our friendship upon. The word itself has many different uh, kinds of meanings uh, for both of us and especially on our friendship this word has a lot of meaning. Every time, every couple of minutes a new thing arose, a new, a new piece of gold, a new gem, a new idea. I think it's really something that's going to stay uh, in the history of music because uh, all of the compositions are really well written and really well thought out. The first uh, composer that approached me with the idea of recording uh, was Gabriele Roberto with uh, his composition Tokyo Suite. Actually, I was uh, commissioned to write a trumpet concerto back in 2015 by the Japanese Philharmonic Orchestra and uh, that was premiered in Tokyo and Yokohama. I strongly wanted this concerto to be recorded, so I contacted a wonderful soloist, uh, Fabio Brun. And I was very fortunate that, uh, to receive a call from him. And uh, he really liked my composition and so we started to conceive the project. And we have had uh, many, many hours of conversations. I must say that he is like a right hand on this project for me. I have two of my composition in it. One is the concert that was commissioned in 2015. The other, which I, I wrote especially for this uh, CD, which is called Solaria. which is uh, one movement and is very, very kind of positive and optimistic. 
peace calling for hope and all of the others came along uh, this this first idea we let involve other free composers all of us as a kind of different styles so the cd will be very interesting for that The next one being uh, Nicola Tescari with Nine Moods. Uh, he was uh, contacted also by Gabriele. When Fabio uh, contacted me about a year and a few months ago, I was, uh, of course, mesmerized, super happy, honored, and and excited by this proposition. Uh, we've talked so much about uh, the different sounds that he wanted in his piece, which makes the piece uh, very interesting. But while I immediately said yes, I was also right away confronted with the idea or with the question that I asked myself, is it the right time to write a concerto for soloist and orchestra? These nine moods have a lot of other individuals, maybe a tiny bit more in the background, but we are facing with the same conundrums, the same questions that we all are facing these days. Uh, later on, uh, Dimitri Servo, uh, this great Brazilian composer, a friend of mine, uh, decided to dedicate uh, his four Brazilian seasons to me. I have a long partnership and friendship with Fabio since a long time ago. Uh, Dimitri Servo's composition uh, touches a little bit uh, deep in my heart because it's based in Brazilian seasons and me being a Brazilian, uh, you can imagine it, uh, how happy I am to have a Brazilian piece uh, with some Brazilian elements dedicated to me. Representing regions of the country like the Amazon forest, the Pantanal, the Pampa in the south and the northeast. The last composer was uh, Menahem Sur, which is Noam Sur's uncle. Uh, whose music has been accompanying me since as long as I can remember myself, basically. Um, since before I decided to become a professional musician, he dedicated a piece to me for trombone and piano that I played as a, as a teenager. Then the very first piece that I conducted in a professional concert was 20 years ago, a piece of his, a concerto for orchestra. And now to be able to include the De Profundis that he wrote for trumpet and chamber orchestra in this recording is of course a, an absolute present just for familiar reasons and for familiar reasons. A while ago I wrote a sad piece called De Profundis that is a soul-searching piece, something that has a lot of meditative qualities. And I chose for that meditation the trumpet as a soul-searching character. And uh, his piece was dedicated to my teacher, uh, Reinhold Friedrich, uh, but he has never been played or recorded before. So for me, it's a big pleasure to be the first one to record such a piece. My music usually includes a high level of energy and rhythmic qualities that are very vital. And once in a while I feel the need to do exactly the opposite and compose something that is soul searching, that is pensive, and that is the way that De Profundis was born. I'm so happy that Max was accepted to be part of this recording. All I would like to say what an honor it is to be part of the Naxos family with this recording and 
esta grabación supone casi casi como un puente para seguir con próximas colaboraciones y próximas grabaciones. They are a company that really believes in new music and la calidad es altísima y es un privilegio para nosotros también formar parte del catálogo del sello Naxos. And I need to say that without Stomvi, uh, the company that makes all of the horns, the instruments that you're seeing here, without them, none of this would be possible because uh, in my head I have so many different sounds to fit in each movement, in each piece that I recorded, that if I didn't have a company like that behind me with their support and uh, friendship, it would be so hard to find the right colors that I have in my head for each of the compositions that have been recorded. This week. And sounds really, really good. I'm very happy that uh, the orchestra accepted the project as well as Maestros Noam accepted the project. And I must say, a really big thanks to all of the composers who really trusted me uh, for with their compositions and their music. Thanks to this recording, thanks to this project, thanks to this week to have not only new friends in the orchestra here in Spain, to have a very good new friend in Fabio Brum, in the soloist, but also to have met three more composers who I now also consider to be my personal friends, even though we have not yet met in person. I hope you will enjoy the CD. I think it's a very beautiful project. And uh, thank you again to all the people collaborating. I hope we can see each other again soon.